Good afternoon, my little potato chips. Paddy back again with another antique Barlow knife that I got on Etsy. And I'm going to get rid of the price first. This is a George Wilson home, uh, IXL. And this is an old British knife maker. This one cost me, I think it was £47. Now, that's probably a bit on the dear side but it looks so nice and the fit and finish was so good that i just had to have it i maybe should have bartered a bit more i've started doing that i didn't know you could do that on etsy but i've another couple of knives on the way that i bartered a bit for and i got a 10 pound off both of them so i'm learning as i go along anyhow i'm quite happy with 47 pound this to me is just a beautiful beautiful knife it's a barlow and what's a barlow? A barlow is a knife that has an extended bolster at the top, running usually at least a third of the length of the knife, the handle itself, I should say. Uh, this is the IXL. This is the sort of, it, it's probably the higher range in the Wilson Home um, issued knives. This is just beautifully finished. Now, I believe it's a carbonate uh, cover material. But it's done beautifully. It is hafted absolutely stunningly. You don't feel the transitions on the corners, on the bolsters themselves. It is just so highly well. It really is well finished. There's the knife. And I think that looks lovely on the bolster. No shield on this. A highly polished blade, which again signifies it's usually the higher end of the, the market price. There's the back of it. Now, I'm going to show you. That looked like there's a big gap there. There isn't. Isn't a huge gap. There's just the blade has either set down a little bit. But if you look at it that way, there is ever so slightly a gap. But look, that's never going to bother me. It really isn't going to bother me in the slightest. This is a, an older knife. Again, from what era? I don't know. I'm going to say 50 plus. So this knife has seen a life. It's had a life. And I've got it. This one must have been looked after. It's a bolster with a long pull. Now, it's not a match strike. It's just a long pull, which is lovely. The most beautiful clip blade on it, which I think is gorgeous. Really gorgeous. Not that many threads. Look, this knife has been used, if I can show you. There you are. It has been used, and it's going to get used. It's been sharpened a bit. I put a little small edge on it, but... It's fine. There's your tan stank. It's the IXL um, George Wilson Home Sheffield and nothing on the other side. But it is really beautiful. And the inside of this one is nice and clean. It just came. I haven't had to clean it out, flush it out, put a wee drop of pivot oil in it and it's loosened it up a little bit. What length is the knife? Let's give you a wee show and tell. And it's like most Barlows, it's a two and a half inch blade and a three and a half inch handle, about six inches overall, which tends to be the length of your average, well, especially a British Barlow. Uh, some of the, I'll show you some different sizes in a moment, but this is a, the average side Barlow. Uh, it's broad in the base compared to most of the modern day knives of this size. Um, the British makers did make it a bit broader, but it gives you a really substantial grip which I do love, and I love a clip point. Look, the spear point is probably what I use the most, but a clip point for looks, it, it, to me, it just can't be beaten. I think it is just stunning. So, what can I compare this to? Let's give you another one. Here's a nice case. Again, the case, just a little bit smaller than it, a little bit smaller. And let's put another one down beside it. Again, the old favourite, my new Boker, which is just a stunning knife. I love it. I keep bringing it out for comparisons. It's probably about exactly the same size as it, uh, blade length and everything. This is probably, this is the user shape that I like. That's the attractive shape that I like. But it's nonetheless, it's as good a user as any. And this is beautiful. And it will be used. I will be using this. This is not a put away in the drawer. I'm just going to get these away. And I have two more. Just to give you a quick comparison to the other things, here is a TC Barlow from GEC. This is the number 14 pattern, which is a little bit smaller. But again, it's not that small that it wouldn't do as a perfectly good EDC for my life, for an old fellow like me. I'm not using it for work. 
But you can see the difference. There's a slight difference in the, the handle of this. This wee boy's knife is a sturdy wee knife. Very comfortable in hand. And I can't get all four fingers on, but I can touch the back of the blade with that. And it's perfectly serviceable for everyday use. But if I did want a bigger blade, here is the GEC number 77 Barlow. This is a two-bladed Barlow. Look at the size of that. That is a work knife. And that's the joy. With your with your knives, and when I'm going out for the day, if I think I'm going to be doing heavier work, that's the sort of knife I want to take with me. You know, that because that will do anything that's sturdy and heavy. Look at the difference in the blades. Let's just see this. The Wilson Home is a thinner blade, just meant for EDC. For everyday tasks around the house or at work, whichever you say. I'm just closing these up. Terrible habit of cutting this off. Would you ever think of that? But I just love the look of this. I love the Barlow. I love the IXL on it. It was just, for me, it was a no-brainer. I just had to snap this up. Uh, I just love everything about it. The, the walk and talk. It's a cam tang again. Listen to that snap. For a knife that's, I'm going to say, 50 plus, again, if you know anything, please let me know. If you can date it better than me, please do. When you're buying from Etsy, these boys are just selling the knives. So, I, I you know, I don't know how knowledgeable they are. I don't rest a whole lot. Of, I go on looks and what I'm looking for at the time. And this is one that I know. It's a maker. It looks well. I know I'm not being ripped off. I maybe paid a wee bit more than I should have for a second-hand knife. Uh, from George Wilson. I don't know. Maybe I paid a lot less. <laughs> you know, that's the way it goes on Etsy with me. But I'm as long as I'm happy with what I pay, and £47 for this knife is beautiful. And this is a carrier again. This is not going in my the back of my drawer for knives that will never see daylight other than an Instagram picture. This is going to be a user and really proud to carry it. Again, it's a Barlow. It's a small, non-locking knife with two and a half inch blade. It's not going to scare the sheep will listen to that snap isn't that just that just excites me that is beautiful look at that what a beautiful proud carry i would carry this anywhere it's just stunning so i hope you're liking these wee videos i'm trying not to make them as long um but i just love it and if you're you know if you haven't got the money for your big expensive knives this is this is where you can go down this line and buy an antique sort of knife, but yet a perfectly serviceable user. So tell me what you think down below, as you normally do. If you have any information that can help me with the age unit, or you know, sort of what sort of standard it was in Wollstone Home Standards, please put it down below. I have to keep on saying I'm not a book reader, so the information I get for all my knives is from my subs, which I truly appreciate and enjoy reading. All the best. We parties away. Cup of tea time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye now.